Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Setham and welcome back to another video guide for Conan Exiles. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about taming horses in Conan Exiles, as well as several locations where you can find some foals. So if you guys enjoy this video and find it useful and informative, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. So over here you can see that I've got three horses, all with different saddles. First thing you need to know before we get into getting the horses is that you will need several requirements in order to actually ride a horse. So let's get into it. You will need to craft a stables and you can unlock this at level 15 in your feet over here is what you will need so it comes under thrall taker you'll also need to be able to craft the saddles which you can unlock at level 20 and this will also allow you to unlock the saddle crafting bench now with that of course you can add a armorer which will decrease the amount of resources required to craft a saddle the better the armor the less it will cost you to make a saddle so for example if you have a tier 4 named armor placed in the uh crafting bench for saddles you will of course significantly have decreased the amount of resources it will cost you to craft those saddles some saddles do cost quite a bit in terms of the resources so over here with the novice saddle maker you can unlock the saddles and the saddler's workbench as you can see and then you can then unlock the other saddles by spending point in your feet so these are the requirements that you will need now let's have a look at where you can find the foals there are several locations in the game where you can find foals one of them is around 3f so i'm going to teleport there i'm going to show you the exact location then i'll show you the map again so you can see where i found the foal this is one of three locations that i will be showing you there are actually three locations that i have found on the map we're going to wait for things to spawn in there's the foal so i'll go and pick it up and then i will open up the map and show you my exact location on the map so this is where i am located as you can see it's actually 4f so i do correct myself on that but roughly around this area and i do bear in mind that these things do wander about in me i also want to have a look around just to make sure that there isn't another fall but averagely speaking i have noticed that there's generally one fall around this area they do tend to respawn i believe somewhere around uh 20 to 30 minutes so you might want to check every 20 minutes to get another fall now very important to note is also the fact that you can store your folds and horses in a preserving bin with ice in it so this is the second location right here this is where I am situated on the map. As you can see, there's a foal right in front of me. I'm going to go and pick that up. Now, do bear in mind, there are several variations of foals. You can get simple foals, and you can get... i um, not quite sure exactly what the name is, but there are better foals. And I think once they turn into horses, they do get a bonus to certain stats. So do bear that in mind. This is where I am situated uh, in location, or in comparison to the aqueduct. And right here, there's actually another area. So, as you can see, I'm slightly higher than the aqueduct, uh, the little marker. If I go slightly lower, there should generally be uh, two foals. So, it's 9G. So, slightly higher than the marker for the aqueduct, as you can see on the map. I'm going to show you the second location. I don't know if it's actually one location with two different spawn points, but I'll show you it anyways. So, this is the second location for this area slightly below the little marker there's a one foal right here so as you can see this is a sturdy foal and then i'll go and pick up this one over here as well we'll see what this is so another foal so basically from this area you can get a total of three foals which is quite decent and these are the areas that i have managed to find so far if you guys have found other areas where you can find the foals 
be sure to put them down in a comment down below so just kind of zoom in to show you exactly where i am located as i am quite lower than i was before at least if you look at the map and so i will count these two locations as two separate spawn points for the folds okay so once you have your folds you will then place it in the stables it will require fiber for the fold to turn into a horse once you place the foal into the stables it will take one fiber out of your stack and then pretty much it's a waiting game where you wait for the horse to for the foal to turn into a horse so we'll wait for this to happen and then you have several saddles as you saw on my other horses that you can place i will be testing them out in a separate video to see what the differences are now do bear in mind that i have the crafting speed of thralls and pets turned up quite high so that things happen more or less instantly once you have your horse take it out of the stables otherwise it will consume the fiber and you will get manure or feces or whatever it's called and you can place it down just like with any other thrall of course in order to ride it you will need a saddle and since the most recent changes to the game you will have to hold down e to access its inventory and stats if you just go up to the horse and press e you will just mount it so you'll get a radial wheel as you can see right here so the eye is the inventory the horse icon will let you mount and then or i is actually information my apologies the horse icon is a mount icon and the wheel icon will access the inventory of the creature once you are mounted in order to dismount the creature you will have to press c so it is a slightly different button obviously this is for the computer for the pc version i'm not quite sure what the controls are for the consoles as i don't play on consoles once you have placed down your horse just walk up to it and press e once to access the inventory if it does not have a saddle if it does have a saddle do bear in mind that by just pressing e you will automatically mount the horse make sure that you put plenty of food in the horse's inventory as it does help with healing the horse especially when you start out as it does not have a lot of hp very important thing to note here is that whilst you are mounted, you are unable to open gates. So as you can see right here, I will not be able to open the gate. And the horse also seems to level up passively. So you don't necessarily have to be in combat. However, the horse will level up quicker through combat. That is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Setopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.